This video is going to be for all the Timmies in Tarkov, aka new players and maybe experienced players as well. Although I have 3000 hours played, I somehow always end up learning something new. I'll go through early wipe gameplay, tips, and things that will help you increase your survival rate. Tarkov is hard, but if you can make it through the first few levels, you could probably persevere through the rest of the game. So you just opened up Tarkov for the first time? Choose the USEC faction, it'll make AI on the lighthouse map a lot easier to fight, and you'll get a English voice. But if you're a masochist, go bear, and players will hunt you down just for your dog tag. Now, go to the traders tab and start accepting your first few quests. Questing is by far the fastest way to level up and progress in Tarkov. Before you play, you'll want to edit your settings and keybinds. If you're not running a NASA computer, I'd recommend turning most graphic settings off. I have a 4000 series GPU and a Ryzen 7800X3D CPU. Having a high-end CPU does wonders for the FPS in this game. And as for keybinds, you can do whatever is comfortable, but I'd recommend having keybinds that don't interrupt your in-game movement. And for the sake of time, feel free to copy my settings and keybinds and change them later if needed. There is no real in-game tutorial for Tarkov, but if this is your first time playing, you're going to want to do scav runs. Why? Because you get a free set of gear, and when you die as a scav, you don't really lose anything other than time. Plus, you get to learn the map, the loot spawns, interact with other players, and just get a feel for the game. Remember, if you die a lot on your PMC and have zero rubles, you can always just keep doing scav runs to collect guns, armor, and more loot. Whatever you do, do not shoot other player scavs. This will lower your scav rep, and you will spawn in with worse items, and AI scav will become hostile and start to shoot you. The fastest way to raise your scav rep is by taking car extracts on your PMC. Do that five times on each map with the car, and you'll be over the max rep limit of six. Why? You'll spawn in with higher quality equipment and loot which means you'll usually be stronger than most PMCs early wipe, and your scav timer decreases, aka more scav runs and more rubles. And also things like the vehicle extracts or BTR services become a lot cheaper. The best part is that other than scav bosses being friendly towards you, is that you get access to the secret max rep fence shop, where you can sometimes buy better ammo, gear, items, etc. Quick tip, use control click to move items into your stash or bag faster, please. I'll just organize them later, this will save you tons of time. Before we get started, here are some useful links that will be in the description. Tarkov maps, so you don't get lost, and ballistics information, just to help you understand ammunition and armor penetration. First few raids were rough. I spawned into the new Ground Zero map with absolutely no idea where I'm at, and within seconds got into a firefight with other players. I was reminded once again that Tarkov is unforgiving, and if you want to progress, avoid gunfights, and instead focus on surviving and questing. Remember, dying in this game is normal, and expect a lot of it to get past the learning curve. I mean, damn, look at that. All right. We just gotta, we just gotta roll people. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're okay. First usable vault. Okay. This got like body parts in this thing. I don't think there's anything actual. Maybe there's like a quest. There's probably a quest there. That seems like somewhere they'd stash quest. Oh, compass might actually be useful right now. True. Player, player. Yep. Dead. Drop them. Please. Yeah. Yeah. I am playing around. You CMS. Okay. Watch for teammates, I guess. Yeah, I'm coming around the field track.
God damn, this guy just ran at us. What did he have? Oh, he kind of brought a, a SKS. With a PP helmet. Okay, this is a border of the map, like guaranteed. Like, there's no way you can leave this. This looks like you're gonna get headshot by a sniper. <laughs> you go this way. You think so? Is there a sign? No, but. Oh, car battery. Oh, keys. Oh, shit. Oh, where'd you go in here? I see. Bolts. So. I'm gonna try to stay in light. What? Somebody completed their task. Alright, if I die, I'm looting one more fucking time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in front of you, so you shouldn't. Got a half mask. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. There's three crates. Ooh. Uh, seems like there's a lot of empty crates, though. These feel like customs crates, not like reserve crates. Oh, that's not bad. Oh. Never mind. I mean, we need everything we can get, right? So. Yeah. No, no, You're literally light. catching me sell like thousand ruble items on the flea. Like, money go crazy. So this is the garage? What building would that be? Terra Group Area 3? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. We can just figure out oh, what Oh, Sky Side. Sky Side. I see the sign. There's propane tank here. So we're in the um, southwest corner of the map right now. Okay. This door works. Okay. I'm carrying some very good stuff, but some very heavy stuff. Yeah, dude. Here, take this. I found a unlock for gaming and some BT oh, ammo. You're, hold on, you're hold in. on. Hold on. Got a better mask? No, I can't wear it. Ruples out there. Put the BT ammo in my butt. It's kind of important. Duffel bag on this uh, tow truck thing. Transportation truck. So this guy spawned down here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's probably just a spawn, like, just somewhere near us by these, just, long area. Because this seems- oh, this is a car, right? Or am I slow? No, it's not a car. I thought it was just, like, lit up because it's a car. <laughs> or am I slow? <laughs> Little slow. Alright, so I guess we can try to go... Okay, yeah, this is definitely the edge. Yeah. I'm just exploring. Yeah, so there's oh, that doorway oh, oh, we found oh, oh. Or... Wait, okay, I'm, I'm watching you. I'm watching you do this. Sky side <laughs> underground ramp? Oh, yeah, this is probably real. Now, usually there's little signs that tell us we're about to die. Alright, we're about to get crazy. Yeah, I'm heavy, heavy. Oh, well, not heavy, heavy. I'm staying a lab trade, but I'm good. I actually am not. I, I respawn, or I get stamina back while walking uphill. All right, so I'm assuming we have you to head all the way left. east for an extract, northeast no clue or something. Where that is, but I it's, guess we're um, just, there's probably like shit in between the buildings on the borders. You want to hug the right? Just hug the right yeah, all the way around that's the map. Yeah, right. Oh, cost Can we Go in here. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Well, 
There's a tent over here though. This is this might be the med tent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Coffee there's a joy. van here too. Okay, first Dead the miners are. Okay. Oh wait, this is extract. What? Wait, this is? wait where are you? Right here. Oh, over there in that corner. I don't know if. Right here. Was I'm extracting. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the first. This is Emercom. Okay, Emercom makes sense because it's has meds supplies. Okay, Emercom Unity Credit Bank, and also all of this stuff. Okay, are we extracting? Or, yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. We, fucking, we fucking loot up. up. Fucking loot up. Let's get out. <laughs> Master cool set. It's not searching. Give it. Give it to me. Yes. Easy. The next few raids, I decided to use a sniper. The long range playstyle isn't for everyone, but in general, it's safer to keep your distance from others and focus on task. If anyone gets too close, just run away and or hold an angle. I don't know which way is fucking north. Yeah, we're in like the middle of the area now. Or no, we're close to the end. Kinda of freaking it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm running, I'm running inside. There's two, there's two, there's two. Get back in, get back in. Oh. Oh, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. Close the door, close the door, close the door. Well, I'm Throw not ahead of you. They're, they're behind you. Okay. Help me! <laughs> I, don't, I don't have an aid right now. Okay, we're I'm holding, holding, we're, we're holding the same angle. angle. I got the single, I got the single. I swear I'll fucking pop you. Okay, these are like actual players. Yeah, killed one. Oh, I heard one. So. Okay. I thought that was a headshot. I'm bleeding. Hold on. I, I, I heard them for sure. I thought they were dead there, but... It's not. Uh, take my prop alone. Worth it. I only brought one mag, so... Uh, in your stomach. I didn't take any like permanent damage though. They're still alive on the other side of that car. I might have hit him, but it's shitty. P5 ammo. Just like that, we were able to run away, hold an angle, and make that squad think twice about pushing us. Thanks to that, we were able to loot the rest of the map without any real resistance and extract without dying. Remember, you don't have to take every opportunity to get into a gunfight. If you can, play with a friend or stranger. You can find people to play with in the official Tarkov Discord. There are even dedicated teachers called Sherpas who will help you learn the game. They won't do everything for you, but they'll definitely help you learn. Playing with someone else will make you learn the game a lot faster than you normally would by yourself, and maybe even ease the anxiety from the horror-like ambience of the game. It's super pop possible. Help, 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 help. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm covering right, I'm covering right. He's he's holding me, I'm kind of... Yeah. Killed one. I'm hurt. Killed two. Thank you. Jesus Christ. What a rat. Well, we didn't hear it in the middle. Alright. Playing Tarkov solo was the hardest, but the best FPS experience I've ever had, hands down. After a painful amount of dying in this game, here are some tips I've compiled along with my Discord members. Know your ammo. Your ammo is more important than the gun or armor you use. Uh, example, if you magged up somebody and they didn't die, it's likely because the ammo used didn't have enough penetration or damage. Food and water. Everyone suffers from this early on. If you don't find enough food or water, 
in the raid, um, you're going to get exhausted from hunger or dehydrated from thirst. This sucks because you won't have the energy to run and your health will slowly start draining. If you don't remember where food spawns are, you should probably bring in some water and food with you. Positioning and map knowledge, the most important one. Knowing where your PMC is. So based off where I spawn, I can usually guess where others will spawn. And most PvP happens within the first 10 minutes of a raid. You can use this knowledge of the map, sound cues, to kind of create like a mental route of where you want to go and what might actually happen. For example, if you hear three or four different guns going off uh, in a certain direction, you can kind of expect the squad to be there or a big gunfight. Um, if you want, you can just avoid it by taking a different route or you can actively go towards it. If you do happen to get into a fight, don't just stand still after revealing your position. Reposition, run away, take a different angle. A lot of new players will just stand there and give me a free kill. Although, the most annoying thing someone can do is just keep running away and taking a different angle. And finally, this is very important. You don't have to run everywhere you go. Just have a little bit of patience, walk, and you'll be more likely to hear someone first before they can hear you and attract less attention. If you're running and stomping your feet everywhere you go, it's very likely someone's going to hear you from like 30 meters or even 80 meters away. Alright, I think I got most of the important stuff. I probably missed a little bit, but hey, feel free to comment your best tip down below for the newer players. And thank you for watching, and thank you to all my Discord members for your thoughts and ideas. If I helped in any way today, feel free to support my channel by subscribing, liking, and commenting. I stream on both YouTube and Twitch. Join the Discord. Thanks. Bye.